All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Today we're gonna do a little walk around video. Sorry, it's kind of loud over here by the road, but we're gonna walk around our beautiful one bed, one bath, El Chapo Muchacho model. We'll start on the outside and work our way in. It's starting to rain a little bit, so I'm gonna hurry up and do a quick video of the outside and we'll run inside for you. As you can see, they come with the, uh, the metal, 26 gauge metal roofs. We wanted to make sure we use the roofing system that was gonna last as long as the cabin. So beautiful uh, metal roof. You got many different colors, I think 12 different colors to choose from. Um, this is uh, going on to the front porch. That's your front door right there. And then looking to the left, that's your screened in porch, part of the front porch. And that part's not screened in, that's got the rails. Okay. This is the window, a bedroom window looking out to the front porch. And as you can see, the porch is extended throughout the whole front of the cabin. So it's a six foot by 40 foot porch. The internal square footage is 14 by 40 on the inside, six foot by 40 on the covered porch outside. So the whole width of it went the porch is 20 by 40, 20 by 40. Okay, beautiful covered porch. As you can see here too, a lot of people are like, well, how do you transport that thing 20 wide down the road to bring it to us? Well, if you look up here, guys, we got a hinge system and the top of the porch will fold down and the bottom of the porch will fold up and it kind of makes a big rectangular box. That's how we're able to ship these things all over the God's country here is uh, the whole um, porch system is on a hinge system. And that is why when we quote you a delivery fee, it's not just delivery, it's set up because we got to set this sucker back up for you. All the panels, all these rails and stuff, the screen panels, they all come inside the cabin when we bring the cabin to you. Then we got to pull them out of the cabin and kind of reassemble this front porch for you. So we quote that for you whenever we quote you the delivery. That way when we leave after dropping off the cabin, it looks just like it does here, fully set up and ready to go. Okay. So let's... uh go in the screen that porch. So now we're in the screen then porch area. You can hang out here on your swing, look out on your land, and enjoy the views. Unfortunately, I'm right by the road here, so I don't got no lake views here or forest views, but uh, nonetheless, you get the gist. And uh, fully screened in porch, keep them bugs off your back. There's the door to it. Okay, and then you got an entrance from the porch through the glass sliding door into the main living room and kitchenette area. So let's go inside the cabin now and show you what that looks like. Oh, let me show you all one thing real quick here too. Everybody's always like, what kind of timber do y'all use? We use Southern yellow pine, but you can always upgrade to redwood cedar. And the way we do it is we stack them up four by sixes, one on top of the next, and sealed in between with that chinking. This stuff in between is called permachink. That's how we make the cabin efficient when you're running your heating and cooling and seal up in between the, the timber. Okay, so there you go, four by sixes all the way up. Let's go inside this pretty little thing. Close the door because it's loud out there. Ah, much better. Now I can think straight. That road gets loud. As you can see, it gets a lot more quiet in here. So there's that screened in door, that screen door that goes out to the porch. And then you got five good sized windows here, double pane windows with the argon glass. Those are the easy clean windows. You got five of them right there in the living room area, allowing in a lot of natural light. Let me scoot back and give you all the full view here so you can see them pretty beams in the ceiling there. Remember, underneath the wood panels is insulated with fiberglass and so is below the, uh, the floorboards here. You see that varnish, that sheen off them floors, clean as a whistle. Let's do a little 180 here, show you what we got going on. Kitchen comes with the built-in kitchen cabinets. We got a space right there. Once you let us know what size kitchen sink you want, we cut the hole for the kitchen sink right over there. Beautiful handcrafted cabinets, right? Built by the Amish. 
And then we got the space here for your, uh, your range or stove, microwave above that, and your re regular size, regulation size refrigerator right here. Um, then you got this ladder here, which is optional. Some people like it, some people don't. This goes up to your storage loft where you can store your extra items up there. That is not a livable loft. You can't put a bed up there, guys. The, the peak of the roof is not that high to where a grown-up adult can get there. My seven-year-old son has a hard time getting up there, so it's, it's for storage. It's not, it's not gonna be a second bedroom or nothing like that, okay? Um, there's your front door, and this little thing in the hallway is where you could put a standard size front-loading washer and dryer if you like it. You can keep it. If not, you can, we can take that out extra storage underneath and then when you go through this door right here this door goes into your bathroom where you could put your standard tub toilet and sink in here so put your standard tub toilet and sink you got a window here that's optional you can keep it you can take it out remember these are all made to order so you can also modify your floor plans to meet your specific needs okay we always tell everybody we're not a custom cabin builder but you can modify the design of the cabins that we offer to you. You can modify the floor plans within reason. For example, if you wanted this bathroom made a little bit bigger, we could do that. And you just eat up into your living room space a little bit or your bedroom space a little bit. So we work with you to customize your floor plan so it meets your specific needs. So you go straight out, there's your front door, make a left out of the bathroom. And this door here will do the grand entrance so you go through this door here in the hallway and voila, it's your one bedroom. Remember too guys, we offer this model as a two bedroom as well. The one bedroom as, as I'm showing off here, as of today's date, I like to timestamp these videos. So we, you know, we know where we're at. We are in uh, March of 2024. So this is March, 2024 in case you, 10 years from now, y'all are watching this video on YouTube or TikTok. You know, you know, when I'd like to talk, I'm talking about pricing. I like to timestamp because Obviously, prices are subject to change. So, uh, so yeah, this is the bedroom. This cabin here is sixty-nine thousand as is, and it is seventy-nine thousand. If you want the electric put into it, um, everybody always asks, "Well, how do we know it's really Amish built?" Well, obviously, guys, look around. Y'all see any electric outlets? One of the telltale signs that something's Amish built is when they build these structures with no electric. But we do have an electrician on site. Uh, we charge ten thousand dollars if you want us to do it so once again this cabin is sixty nine thousand without electric if you all want to do it yourself or seventy nine thousand if you want us to do it okay the way we'll do the electric is we'll run it along the internal walls in conduit up the code and then the amish will come behind the electrician and hide all that electric conduit in nice wood trim so everything's clean as a whistle you don't see no exposed wire nothing when it's done um, if you guys would like to see a reference video of what that looks like when it's done, they look beautiful, go to the, go to the Amish Built Cabins website, AmishBuiltCabins.com, and click on the link that says Video Gallery, and you can watch the very first video there. Once again, go to AmishBuiltCabins.com, pause this video, click on the link on top of the website that says Video Gallery, and watch the very top video on that Video Gallery page. And uh, that was a um, Big Bertha cabin we did for a customer out in Vermont. And that cabin turned out sweet as a whistle. So go check that out if you wanna see the way we run the electric, how these things look like fully finished out. There's got the electric uh, heating, cooling, fireplace roaring and everything. So that's a great reference video to see what one of these looks like fully finished. Okay, that's a queen size bed for reference. So you can take out that little nightstand and put a California King in here. Got a couple of closets in here. A lot of people, what they'll do here, because that little one on the right was supposed to be a mechanical room for like a water heater. But most people, what they'll do is they'll make, they'll conjoin these two and make it just one big closet with a barn sliding door and go with the tankless water heater because they take up a lot less square footage. They'll put the tankless water heater over here uh, by the washer and dryer or behind that, right? Because all of, it's all about conserving space in a smaller structure. Like I said, I don't like to call these homes tiny homes because, in my opinion, a tiny home is like 200, 250, 300 square feet. This is 560 square feet, guys. So this is what I consider a small but extremely livable and very comfortable um, long-term, you know, recreational cottage or living cottage. It's a beautiful structure.